Okay, so what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. And in this video I'm going to be going on to is basically breaking down or going over a review on The Flash Season 4 Episode 18. Otherwise entitled Lose Yourself. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and turn on post notifications, which is the little bell and just, I guess, click them to get notified every time I do upload a video. I guess so. This has probably been a, like a really good video. I'm recording this intro just before the episode airs, like an hour or two before it airs, just so I won't have to record the intro like... 2 a.m. or something so i guess with that being said uh if you want to see more videos on the flash leave a like on the video and comment down below obviously i'll be having a lot more videos i have a twitter and discord in the description which you can go follow or you can just go join and you can basically either tweet at me or go on to the group chat which i will probably be trying to post a lot more on to so i guess with that being said uh enjoy the review and i'll probably have a video on the trailer breakdown go out sometime tomorrow so i guess enjoy that and let's get into the review so getting on to the review there's a good lot of things i want to go over in this uh review so i guess going on to the start of it the original bus from i'm pretty sure it was a few episodes into the flash like episode one actually a few episodes in i meant episode one but the original bus shows up this sonic uh, seppler or something basically where they'd be able to defeat devo and it would be very well basically the only way to be able to defeat devo from what they knew then obviously edwin i guess gao's kind of making his appearance and randomly shipping off mail which i didn't expect to see in this or just didn't expect to see in general obviously i thought that was very very different to see and i didn't think he would be sending mail considering he was off the grid then we obviously have joe's concern for harry just basically using the thinking cap way too much and becoming too obsessed which makes a lot of sense which was he's been using it way too much and obviously at the end of the episode you can see that it's going to be basically the whole empire to the whole enlightenment enlightenment which i'll probably get onto later on in the review caitlin obviously gets stabbed in the shoulder i'm pretty sure so this is obviously going to be something very very minor obviously iris gets stabbed later on in the episode but it isn't as bad i'm pretty sure obviously there's something else to go over later on in the episode which i will go over then obviously ralph and barry argument basically they have an argument where they want well ralph wants to kill the vo but barry obviously says you can't kill the vo obviously barry or ralph had the whole he was able to but he never went around and actually ended up killing him which he was completely able to do harry got a bit deranged i guess you could say it was another one obviously he became a bit too obsessed for the thinking cap he became way too i guess he's basically harming cisco at this stage he became way too frustrated when he wasn't able to find the thinking cap to be able to improve on whatever he was doing and then obviously you had Ralph versus Barry. There was obviously the argument earlier on. But then going on to them fighting it was pretty much cool. It was pretty much one of the best things in the episode. Then obviously the Marvel Thor reference. Which I didn't expect to get another reference this season. Honestly I do think they will have another one. But it won't be as big. Because this is pretty much a really big one. And it was I guess kind of a mockery of an accent as well. Which I was completely fine with. Then obviously you have Ralph's speech. Which was very very different but i didn't expect to get it. well i did expect to get it because we can see it in the trailer for the episode but it was very good to be able to see it and very amazing to see ralph do a whole speech then obviously the voice trick which i was not expecting this was probably one of the best tricks we've got from the vol. probably the best thing we've actually seen but then going on to joe versus the samurai nothing too special to go on to there pretty much really simple just joe versus the samurai where joe ends up winning then obviously the skeleton dinosaur makes another return. I was amazed with that one coming back. I didn't expect to see that come up again. Then obviously the full swap into Edward Gauss, I'm pretty sure his name is. Or something like that. Anyway, he ends up swapping into him. Then Devo takes Ralph, which he swaps into Ralph. Now this is obviously a very, very powerful power to have. Then Devo defeats Team Flash in a very, very I guess hostile way. It was very different and I did not expect to see it in that much well just how powerful he is now then obviously killer frost is going to be gone because a uh, melting point which is one of the many humans he took or his powers he basically took away killer frost then obviously devo makes his return the original devo then the enlightenment which is going to be kind of the end credits for this episode now this was a great episode probably my favorite this season honestly i do think i'd give it about a 9 out of 10 the only thing i would i guess say is Devo kind of making it it's all I guess too much I thought it was Devo was way too much centered obviously it wasn't a filler episode but it was a great episode in general and with that being said I'm gonna end the video off here and goodbye